There is no better place to take the pulse of art in the USA than the 2012 Biennial at the Whitney Museum of American Art. In this year's version, one of the most American pieces is created with the hand of French avant-garde artist Giselle Vienne, with a text by American writer Dennis Cooper, Last Spring, a prequel, stages a teenager performed by an animated ventriloquist doll who is engaged in a schizophrenic dialogue with a glove puppet. situation that it's facing obviously a doll and the visitor very easily projects a conscience on this doll even if we know it's a doll even if we're in the states in 2012 and we have we can have a very rational relation to objects so i like this still magical confusing relation we have to this écoutez moi une minute s'il vous plaît j'ai vraiment besoin de votre aide je Il va parler. C'est toujours dans mon bras que je sens que ça va commencer. Comme un infarctus. I mean, it's a classical situation for theater since the Egyptian. I mean, that was always a challenge to make the, the dead people speaking through dolls or through masked characters or through unmasked performers. We can see that in pagan or religious ritual, the representation of death or of violence or of things that were scary of is very central. And if it's that central, it's certainly because it's something that is very necessary to us. La marionnette m'appelle Charles. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. Ça ne sonne pas juste. Je n'arrive pas à la retirer de ma main. Je m'attarde sur la tête car, quoique étrangement plate et lourde, elle était la seule merveille de son corps. <rire> non, non, je mentionnerai également le cou, si fin et laiteux que sa tête, aurait tout aussi bien pu être un vase, d'où jaillissait chair, os et sang pour s'engouffrer dans un trou entre ses épaules. A society where everything, where light is good and where happy is good and where heavy and darkness is bad. And so we are in this very <laughs> simplified sometimes approach. And I think it's totally right when in the art fields, uh, what we call perversion is invading the art field. And I think it's like ritual is, is of course, totally harmless in the end. It, it's just to to, to bring some, some yeah, spiritual experience uh, and, and some physical experience to the viewer and to challenge him on, on some desires and thoughts he or she had. <laughs> <laughs> 